If you are enjoying my content, please like and click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Click on all notifications to watch my latest content. Greetings everyone. It's great to have you here on the Data Sculptor channel once again. Today we have another exciting problem lined up for exploration. Let's jump right into it, right into it shall we? Okay. So as you can see, uh, we have a table. Uh, these are the select star from scores. And uh, if you see, we have a table uh, with two columns, name, uh, name, name, and marks. And uh, each of them are strings or the varchar and varchar data types. And uh, we have the marks in comma separated value. So uh, the output we want is we need for each student, we want to have the average of uh, all these marks in a single column and also rank all the students um, in the average as per the average. So hope you all understood the question. So now let's see how we can do this. So select star from scores and instead of star, let's use the common uh, column names, name, comma, marks from scores. So now to split the uh, marks column, we have to use cross apply. So cross apply is nothing but same as cross join, but in cross join, you use two different tables to get a cross join, uh, to get a Cartesian product. But here in cross apply, if you have to take output from one table and the output from another function, if you want to use the function, then you have to use cross apply. Since we'll use the function here, that is nothing but string split. We'll use the string split to split the marks column into multiple rows. So let's take the input of marks, comma, and we need to separate it by comma, so it's comma. So now let's see what we're getting and let's keep star here. So now let's see what we're getting from this cross apply condition. So yeah, if you see here, we are creating a new column called value. So value is nothing, but uh, it is breaking this particular uh, marks row into five different column, five different uh, marks. One column it is splitting into five different rows. So 85, 90, 88, 76 and 72, 92. So this is what is happening. So now what I'll do, and if you see observe carefully here, this string split uh, gives a new column named value. So since we need the average of the value, we, we directly use the value column as average marks. Okay. Since the uh, marks is in n varchar, we need to convert it to integer. So how do we do it? We use simple convert statement, convert int comma value so this will and we we need to use the group by because we are using a aggregate function this will give you the average of all the marks in a single column and again the next one is we need to use we need to grade all these employees all these uh, students based on the average so for that we will use dense rank because one student more than one student can have the same average so they should be ranked the same. So dense rank over just order by, we'll just use this average. We'll like to use this as RN. Let's keep the rank as RN. Now let's see if it's working or not. So yeah, if you see closely, we are getting this in, this is the input as it is, and this is the average marks. And uh, if you see here 76, 81, 82, 84, 86 and rank is 1, 76 is 1. Okay, so we need it in descending order because the student with the highest average should be first. So this should be in descending. So yeah, Alice is having uh, average marks of 86, so is rank 1, Eve 84, rank 2 and so on. So this is one solution uh, to direct to use cross apply. So now let's see another solution without using cross apply. So this is select from scores. And here it is name comma marks. Now let's use select from directly let's use the spring split in, in this. Okay, so let's use the marks comma comma separated. Okay, and now uh, what will so each and every uh, row uh, of this marks column, uh, this particular row value in this marks column 
will be passed to the string split and will be uh, split into five different columns. So let's keep star and uh, let's keep this as marks and now let's see if it's working or not. So if you see here subquery written more than one value. So ideally they should not return more than one value because uh, for one row you should you should add only you will be able to add, add only one row in, a, in that particular uh, one column in that particular row. So to uh, mix this I mean to aggregate all this we just simply directly use the average average of value. So this is the same we need to convert it into integer average of and then see if it's working or not. So yeah if you see now it is directly working this is the average marks. So this is how you can uh, do it without using um, a, a cross apply function and again we want the dense rank. So let's copy this and uh, here instead of using this order by uh, average we, we'll we have to directly use this column okay. So let's see if this is working fine. So yeah this is how you will use uh, string split to split the comma separated values into multiple rows and aggregate them. So first one is using the cross apply and the group by and second one is using without the cross apply and uh, there is no group by in a single select statement we are able to achieve all the required columns. So hope you like this video and also the question. Uh, if you feel if you have any other important questions uh, which you want me to cover you can please comment out in the comment section. And also I'd like to thank all of you who are regularly watching my videos. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more exciting content. Thank you. Have a nice day.